Welcome back to day 21. We're on day 21 as we are continuing our journey in this wonderful book, Let Nothing Disturb You. Of, um, as we are discovering the timeless spiritual counsel of Saint Teresa of Avila in our daily morning meditations, mantras of the day, and our night prayer. Remember, let nothing disturb you. Let nothing make you afraid. All things are passing. God alone never changes. Patience gains all things. If you have God, you will want for nothing. God alone suffices. My day begins. Our Lord, in order to console me, once told me not to be distressed by the fact that the life of the Spirit does not continue on an even path. At one time, I may be fervent, at another, I am not. At one moment, I may be disquieted. A moment later, I, I am at peace. It's still another, I'm tempted, but I must. God reminded me, hope, not fear. Hope, not fear. We do not understand our own needs or what we should ask for. Let us leave all to our Lord who knows us better than we know ourselves. A humble heart is content with what is given it and does not expect special favors as though they were a right a humble heart never demands but what shall i do lord if for a long time there is no consolation at all in my prayers and i find it almost impossible to seek you out that's so hard lord I believe that the best course is to be absolutely resigned, confessing that we can do nothing and not, and to apply ourselves to other good and meritorious deeds. Maybe our Lord takes away from our souls the grace to pray easily so that we can learn how little it is that we can accomplish with only our own strength. Rejoice and take comfort and consider how great a privilege it is to work in the garden of so great a Lord. Dear friends, do not lose faith, but be reminded that If we humble ourselves in the presence of the Lord and that we have the Lord within us because we were made in his image and through baptism, we have the Holy Spirit in us. And so we need to be humble and not demand things from the Lord. But at times, we do feel helpless, and it is okay. As long as we acknowledge that, we can do all things through God, who give us the wisdom to do all things. The mantra of the day. Write it down and pray it with me. It is all right to feel helpless. It is all right to feel helpless. One more time. It is all right to feel helpless. But remember this, my friends, before you go to work, let say this, make it personal. Let nothing disturb me. Let nothing make me afraid. All things are passing. God alone never changes. Patience gains all things. If I have God, 
I will want for nothing. God alone suffices. Have a wonderful day, and I will see you at the end of the day. Pause the video. Welcome back, my beautiful friends, my beautiful brothers and sisters in Christ. I hope you had an amazing day. And now, remember to go to a quiet place and allow God to give you an embrace because God delights in you, in your soul. He delights and appreciates the fact that you invited him to come along with you, to guide you, to lead the way and you allow him to shine in you and with you. So now the day is ending. My day is ending. Remember to breathe in and now breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. One more time. One more time. Let nothing, O oh Lord, disturb the silence of the night. Let nothing make me afraid. However this day has gone, let me be neither discouraged nor presumptuous. The life of the Spirit is not an even path. We do not know what is good for us, what we should ask for on any given day, any given time, whether we are fervent or disquieted, at peace or thrown about by temptation, caught up in prayer or speechless, matters not at all. What matters is, however my day has gone, however I find myself as darkness comes, that I should, without ceasing, hope in you and fear not. For if I have you, God, I will want for nothing. You alone suffice. Keep breathing in and out until you feel no more tension. If you had a very difficult day, grab a journal, write down everything that is bothering you, give it to God. And if you're upset at someone, forgive the person. Don't go to bed mad. Remember to forgive because the Bible says to forgive 70 times 7. seven. So forgive, move on, and relax and let God surrender that to God. Some things are very difficult and we can only overcome them through God's help. Thank you and may you have a wonderful night. Sweet dreams. Mm -hmm.